Hello, and welcome to the Ed Hile Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, showing my students in football coach Ed Hile. Coach, how you wrapped up the regular season last week at home against Lycoming. We were able to uh, post the second shot of the season with a 30 to 1 nothing win. Uh, great way to close out the regular season. It was fun. Uh, felt really good for the seniors. Um, send them out that way in, in our last regular season game. And, uh, you know, obviously putting up a shutout takes you know, every, everybody on the team's involved with that yeah. from the offense, defense, special teams. So, uh, but you know, hats off to the defensive staff and the guys, you know, the, the defensive players. You know, really did a nice job, you yeah. know, executing a, a well thought out game plan, and it's uh, quite an accomplishment to shut somebody out. Yeah, absolutely. Especially in conference play, it's even tougher because everybody knows everybody and knows your tendencies and personnel a little bit better. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and, you know, and that's a well coached team. You know, they do some things and, and did some things to us on Saturday that caused us a little bit of problem. But you know, again, the guys were resilient and, yeah. and executed. Yeah. I talk about, um, it's not really when, obviously the score was still scoreless at the time, the backbreaker was the second quarter, they put together a really long drive, 10, 11 minutes, 21 plays, um, and come away with no points because they missed a field goal. Um, I thought, obviously, your defense stood up and was able to hold them and not let them find the end zone, but also it had to be a little frustrating for Lyco in that, hey, you put together that long drive and you, you still have nothing to show for it. Sure, and I, and I think going back and looking at, the, at that drive, you know, we helped them extend that drive multiple times. Yeah. Uh, we, I think we had some penalties during that drive. Um, the third down conversions were insanely high throughout that drive. So, you know, some things that we can work on this week going into it. But certainly, you know, when you put together a drive of that length and, and to come away empty handed was certainly, you know, swung the momentum a little bit in our way. Yeah. And then you were able to come back right after they missed that field goal, come back two or three plays later and score and uh, take a lead in the halftime and built on that in the third quarter. Absolutely. It's, you know, it's nice to score late in the half, you know, get some momentum and some confidence going into the locker room. And, you know, again, you know, this whole second half theme of ours is, is certainly not, <laughs> not one that we, we coach at all. But, yeah. um, you know, we've done a nice job coming out of the locker room, you know, after halftime, making the adjustments and such. So, uh, you know, it's been good. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, before we move on to this week's game, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, all-conference stuff came out yesterday. Obviously, had 13 guys honored. Obviously, testament to the hard work that they've put in. Sure, those guys, you know, those guys, you know, work really hard. And, you know, those those things are always very interesting to yeah. me as, as I look at them and, you know, who's on and who's off. And I, I think there were some of our guys that may have been a little bit overlooked. Yeah. Um, you know that that obviously we're biased, and you know we felt like um, deserve some recognition. But you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is, and and we've got to get our focus on uh, on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Now shifting gears to Saturday, um, home bowl game first time since 2014 had that opportunity, and um, you know, a foe that's not traveling very far to get here in Johns Hopkins, so it should be a fun one. Absolutely. You know, it's it's nice to be at home. Yeah. Um, you know, the the challenge of a team that's that's been in the playoffs for. You know, for the previous ten consecutive years, yeah. uh, with the prestige of, you know, one of the finest programs in the country, preseason yeah. number six in the nation. So, um, you know, it's, it, it should be a good game. I'm I'm excited. You know, they're a high quality opponent, um, somebody that you know that that um, you know, is respected nationally, yeah. and, and that's that's an exciting challenge for us. Yeah, and obviously you'll have to go out. We talked about this every week, but do the things that we do that you guys do well in order to compete and to hopefully come with a victory. Sure. We, you know, we've got to go out and be fundamentally sound. Um, you know, they're a team that um, take advantage of your mistakes very, very quickly. And we've, we've got to be sound in everything that we do. And, again, we're excited for the challenge. Yeah. All right, Coach, we wish you the best of luck on Saturday. And, um, you know, we'll chat here once the season's done. Thanks, Greg. All right. For Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.